God damn these bats. What is up guys, AshBFC here. We'll get you back to Resident Evil Code Veronica. So last time I ended up at this creepy residence at the top of the hill. The house on Haunted Hill. And oh, I hate it here. And I hate these bats. Right, what we're going to do is... Head on up for uh, an interesting cutscene. These bats are following me. No, not anymore. I'm more worried about rabies than anything, to be honest. Right, through here. For the scene. Keep focus, brother. Our enemy is only a little girl. Oh, why is this taking so long? My apologies, Alexia, but I have been doing my best. The revival of the Ashford family depends on your success, brother. I am aware of that, Alexia. I will revive the family name myself and make you the master of the glorious Ashford family. Do not worry, brother. I will handle them both myself. Who is there? Is someone at the corridor? What is it, Alexia? N nothing. I believe I must have been imagining things. Let us go, brother. Oh, God damn, this doll is staring right at me. It's staring into my soul. Make it stop. Freak, I hate dolls. Anyway, we got a scene there of, uh, we got a first glimpse of Alexia, uh, Alfred's uh, twin sister. I remember being really freaked out at this part as a kid because the, the twins scared me. They freaked me out and I was like, oh, I'm going to run into him. I was really scared. I didn't want to go any further. But uh, now I'm more concerned about that frigging doll. It's going to come alive and eat me or something. Right, let's go in here. And again with the heartbeat. And we got nothing, nothing to worry about there. It's just teasing you again as usual. But another freaking shelf full of dolls. I really do hate dolls. They've always creeped me out. I remember my sister used to have an obsession with dolls, and I just wanted to burn them. Anyway, if we have a look at this uh, music box. It says Red Queen and Blue King return, the path opens. Stop the music box. Yes. The lid comes down. And the bed goes up. You get a key. Let's grab that. That is the silver key. Alright. Oh, God. Nearly lost my hands then. But you notice there's a, there's a ladder on this bed. But, you can't go up it. So the hole in the ceiling has been sealed. So, so this is the uh, the bedroom of Alexia, I guess. But if you ever look at this music box with the lid closed. This is red jewels embedded. Oh, that looks the same shape as this little ant object we got last time. So let's slap that in. That opens the box again. And now we can take this uh, music plate. Alright, and uh, that's all there is in here, I think. Yep, yeah, okay, back out. Oh, that doll's there again! Right, if we go over here, we can uh, just about see a box of ammo there. You might have seen it in the cutscene. We go around. I don't actually need to do this because nothing we can do right now. Well, we'll just go in anyway. This is uh, Alfred's bedroom. Yeah, the twins are around. I don't know where the hell they got to. But uh, I'm sure we'll meet them at some point soon. That's what we will, but it's not going to be what you expect. Right, this, yeah, we've got another music box. In there, it's got another one of those ant shirts, but it's uh, got some blue jewels around it. Looks like we're going to need another one. We've also got something we can read over here Message card. My dear brother, I firmly believe that the glory of the Ashford family will be revived through your courage and strength as an honoured soldier. Yours faithfully, Alexia Ashford. Hmm. Right, anyway, now it's back down to the uh, facility. <laughs> Nothing else to do in this place, thank God. But for now. So let's head on back. Back through the bats. The, uh, I think I left a lone bandersnatch, didn't I? Let's see if I can avoid him. Oh, 
Alright, we're out of here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I left, uh... Yeah, I can just see it there. Can I get past the old they can hit? I highly doubt it. Oh, I did! I escaped him! I really should probably put him down, because he's going to stay there, and I will be coming back. But, uh, uh, maybe I can avoid him again. Alright. Should probably get the gun out, would be a little bit wiser. I don't need the uh, ladder right now. Alright, back through here. It's time to put this uh, silver key to use. Let's uh, get to the chest first and just uh, rearrange my stuff. Right, let's um, put the herbs back. We're going to grab some more herbs along the way. Uh, put the music player back, I don't need it right now. And Yeah, that'll do, that'll do. Alright, let's crack on. We go down here and then straight across to this other door. We can use the silver key. There we go. That's right away. I see a box of ammo. Let's grab that. Got a healthy amount of ammo right there. Can't complain. Also on this uh, table, we got some more um, bow gunpowder. Go ahead and uh, mix some of that right now. I'll actually put some of this to use, actually. It's, uh... Yeah, it's good against the, uh, band snatchers. Right, let's put that there. Okay, right, I've actually got a slot machine here, you can see, that's on. Oh. Slot machine! One of them is turned on. Alright. Also got a couple of herbs here. Let's mix them. Alright, now have we got anything else? Oh, actually, we have a look at this piano. It says, an antique grand piano. It's designed so it reads outdated. You can see yeah, there's something clearly missing. So, let's keep an eye out. Alright, yeah, that's all there is in here for now. We want to go down a floor. Oh, do you know what? I forgot some... Oh, it's okay. I'll get it. In a... I'll... I'll get it later. I should have brought the hermostatic medicine with me. I'm going to be visiting uh, Rodrigo. Right, here we go. I can throw the key away. Right, just before we head in, let's go ahead and uh, load up the uh, the bow gun. The ex uh, with the explosive arrows. Because we're going to have a couple of bandit snatchers in here. Save myself some uh, harm if I just quickly. Oh! There you go. Two shots, pretty much does them. Oh, I missed. Oh! Well, he took three. The grenade launcher is also uh, pretty effective against them. That's usually one or two shots, but I kind of want to save those. So, yeah. I've got a note here. Hunk's report! Mr. Alfred Ashford, head of the facility. Today, at 4.32, I arrived successfully from the Umbrella Transport Base with the large scale BOW capsule. Extreme care was taken during transport and all 108 checkpoints were confirmed condition green in accordance with standard procedures. It is currently being stored in a freezer. There's one thing that I don't understand. We are normally assigned to special missions. Why were we ordered to transport a frozen capsule this time? I understand that this may be classified as top secret, but without knowledge of the contents, our safety could be at risk during the transport. This is especially important if the content are potentially harmful. We would like to ask you to provide us with more information should you be assigned similar missions in the future. we be uh, assigned similar uh, missions in the future? Ugh. I still remember the good old days that I spent here in the military training center. Nothing has changed since then. We will gear up for that for the next mission today at 11. Umbrella Special Forces Unit Hunk. Hunk is, um, if you remember the FMV scenes from Resident Evil 2, you know when those, the unit... Um, went into the sewers and bust into a William Birkin's lab to steal the G-Virus from him. Yeah, well, Hunt was the leader of those guys, and then 
uh, they shot Willy Birkin and he injected himself and he attacked half the squad and killed them in the sewers. You can check that out in my Resident Evil 2 video somewhere if you can't remember what I'm talking about. But yeah, uh, Hunk was one of the ones that survived. Okay, right. Ooh, no, don't, don't let's not head out yet. There is an important item here on the floor. It's an eagle plate. We can put that uh, in that slot where the uh, guillotine was, which we saw a while back. Alright, let's head out. Right, now I'm heading all the way back to Rodrigo in the very first area from the beginning of the game, so uh, I've got to go grab the hermostatic medicine and then I'll just uh, I'll jump uh, straight there just to save some time. Alright, so I'm back at this uh, very first area, so let's go through. See how Rodrigo's holding up. What are you doing here? Hemostatic medicine. How kind of you. Thanks. Here, let me help you with that. Thanks, but I can take care of myself. Just go. Keep it. It was a gift from my brother, but... Thanks. Here, let me give you this in return. You might need it later on. Now go. Don't worry about me. Alright, we got the lockpick. We have seen a few things that need a lockpick, so definitely benefit from that. Now, um... I can't remember what happens if you don't give him the medicine. It's been such a long time. I always give it to him. I think you might miss out on the lockpick, or maybe you do get another time, but there is also another benefit we'll see later on uh, from giving him that medicine. But we have basically traded the uh, lighter for the lockpick. So I ain't got the lighter anymore, so... Mmm, bats. Yeah. It's going to make life harder with the bats. As you can see, I'm actually injured now. I wasn't last time before I made the jump. I got bitch slapped by a bandersnatch. That's what happened. <laughs> so... Yeah, you didn't get to see that. Uh oh. Oh, I've not even got my gun equipped. Right, we're going back there into this area again. Back to the guillotine. Let's get the gun out. Before we do anything, let's get the damn gun out. Alright, we've got more undead. You need to clear the area last time. They'll be here. Down you go. And you in there as well. He's walking into the wall. Might be the dopey zombie yet. <laughs> Say that, he still gets me. I love how they slump against the wall when you um, push him or whatever, or even when you shoot him. Sometimes it's good when they, they slump into it face first. That's kind of cool. Right, now I recommend. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's get the ball gun out, get it fully loaded, and then uh, put the plate in. Get your finger on the trigger. Doof! Head off. Yeah, we got a couple of zombies behind there. Put them down. Ah, and we're done. Okay. Oh, crap. There's going to be more zombies around here. I should have got my handgun out. Okay, quickly. Yeah, there's two coming right out here. If you shoot that explosive, get a little bit nearer. Did that do it? Yes, it did. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. We've got a green herb here. Let's grab that. Should probably use that, but uh what am I on? I'm on yellow. Yeah, I'm on yellow. I'll just wait until I'm on orange or something before I use any items. Alright, through this gate here. Alright, absolutely hang on a minute. When the 
It's actually some ammo here. You can only see it when the camera turns. If you just, yeah, there you go. They, they, you'd see it's there. I don't know if it was there. Right. Hop over this crate. So you've got a storage chest there. Right, we're going to push this crate back this way. Out the way of the door. Then head on through. We found ourselves back here again. And now we can get through here. Yeah, this is the security area with the uh, metal container, so we can grab those items that we put in there right near the uh, start. Let's see, we check this uh, container Please right here. Any metallic items you have. I ain't depositing Please shit, lady. I'm taking it. I'm taking it all. Yeah, we got uh, some flame rounds and some BRW rounds and ah, a first aid spray. Awesome. All right. Let's not go all the other way because there's a lot of zombies in that corridor, aren't they? And then back out here again. And uh, there's that chest there. Which is very convenient so I can pop that stuff in straight away. Alright, let's uh, stick that in. Stick the spray in. Add that in. And the flare rounds. And yeah, that'll do. Alright. Back out again. Now, uh, now through this door. Oh, hanging ammo right there. Oh, there we go. Man, I got plenty of uh, hanging ammo. And looks like we've got a dead guy on here. It appears that he has been anatomized. Not breathing. Oh dear, not good. Look over here, we've got a body bag. This seems a very pleasant place. So we go through here. We've got a little uh, memo we can read. Quite a creepy one, actually. The anatomist note. There is a demon in my mind. I can't control the fierce impulses that the demon sometimes drives me to act upon. It is a brutal ceremony. With the demon next to me, I enjoy watching people agonize in pain, screaming and convulsing repeatedly as they die. Hmm... Okay... But Sir Alfred was kind enough to acknowledge me, and he, give, and he has given me the facilities, chemicals and equipment necessary to study everything. I must never betray Sir Alfred's kindness. It is especially critical that no one discovers the sacred place that only he and I know about. I swear the basement of this medical building will be kept secret. Of course, I keep the key to the sacred place with me all times. Even if an outsider sees it, they will never be able to tell that it's the key. I must remember that my life ends when I lose Sir Alfred's trust. Okay, so this guy was obviously a mad doctor. Performing crazy experiments on people, but uh, if you look at this model, it's an elaborate model of a human body. Something seems to be missing. Hmm, I wonder what it is. I wonder. Right, let's go this way. Oh god, the body bag moved. You saw that, right? It definitely moved. Oh, jeez. Oh! There you go, I've got four zombies in this room. Let's quickly uh, take care of them. Down you go, bitch. This one's crawling. Not anymore. There's still two others on the other side. Right, let's get this red herb. Look at this, some weird freaking dungeon. Torture dungeon. Jesus Christ, look at this place. This is definitely going to be one of the most darkest Resident Evils I've ever done. At least in my opinion. Right, we've got some hanging ammo here. Also got another one of those cases. Now, if you have a look at this. We can actually uh, open it now since we've got a lockpick. There we go, we got some uh, handgun parts. An enhancement part for the M93R. Alright, so if you uh, go ahead and combine that with the uh, handgun, give you a bit of an upgrade. There you go. Makes it like a semi automatic or something like that. Pretty cool. Uh oh. 
<laughs> Heartbeat's going off. We know that body bag moved. Oh, jeez, what's in here? Just open the damn door already. Enough with the suspense. Oh, well, you can hear that heavenly sound of flesh being torn apart. And <laughs> something's missing. Alright, let's, uh. My advice would be to go ahead and, uh. get, like, the, uh, explosive arrow out or something like that. Oh, jeez, the mad doctor! The doctor is in! Oh, and he's fast! I totally missed him! That arrow was meant for the doctor! Oh, jeez. Right, let's just go the, uh. No! No, 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 no! Machine guns! Get him out! Yeah, he's got some uh, serious speed. I can't believe I missed him with that arrow. At least I got one of them. I want that total worse, but yeah, he seems to take a few more shots than some of the others. But it's his speed that's the main issue. But he drops his eyeball right here. Yes, he was uh, obviously the doctor that had been performing all these experiments. How he turned, I don't know. But now we've got the eye. That was the key he was talking about in his diary. Damn it. Now I could have done with some herbs. Probably shouldn't have put them back, should I? Too late now, anyway. Let's go down into this weird place. Oh, goddamn bats. Oh, there's a herb, though. Let's go mix it with this red one. Yeah, I'm... it's almost impossible to avoid these bats without your lighter. I mean, if you had the knife, you could swipe at them, but... Ow! Ow, twice! And I brought up the map. I don't know why that happened. Ow! Off me! Oh! Man, I'm starting to hate the bats more than Steve! Is that even possible? Oh, more undead. Yeah, I like that. Oh, he's one. Oh, he nearly got me. And him down. Alright, I got some uh, hanging ammo on here. Should have some arrows as well. Over on this bit. There we go. Got a lot of uh, hanging on a lot of arrows. Not bad. All right. Oh god, more blood stains. The hell happened round here? Huh? All right. So this is the. Uh, make this the final bit before we end this video. So all right, what you do is if you uh, check this statue here. It says hold a rusted sword. Take the sword. Sadly, it's not a weapon. That would be nice to be able to slice some zombies, but it's going to trigger a trap, so get ready. That's going to raise out the ground. Gas is going to be unleashed, and you want to very quickly push this. Like, anti-clockwise. Otherwise, you're going to get poisoned. You haven't got a, real, you haven't got a lot of time. If you mess around too much, you're dead. Game over. There you go. Cut off the gas. And swing that round to reveal an Iron Maiden. So there's a statue, he's made of iron. There is a hole in his chest. Hmm, I wonder if I could stick this sword in. I can! Right, get ready to move. Ah! <laughs> Zombie! With a sword in him! Oh man. There you go, inside it we've got the piano roll. So we can sit on that piano which we uh, saw was missing something. But anyway, uh, I'll end this one here right now and then uh, next time we'll head off to that piano but we're also going to run into a character who uh, hasn't been seen since the uh, first Resident Evil. So, anyway as usual guys, thanks for watching I shall see you next time. Later!